Inventor Tim Jennison is the focus of the new documentary, Tim's Vermeer. His mission to prove that a Vermeer masterpiece could be created by an amateur like himself. It's long been postulated that the 17th century Dutch artist relied on the camera obscura, a device enabling him to project and trace a live subject onto a canvas with great precision. In the film, Tim Jennison uses this technology to recreate Vermeer's painting, The Music Lesson. It's an experiment that could show that Vermeer didn't have superhuman artistic abilities, but relied on technology. In Vermeer's camera, this would be a projection of well, if I'm right about Vermeer, and there's no proof in this, in this film, it's, it means that Vermeer um, was a, a lot more human than we thought, he, that he was, a, he was a sort of a, a gifted technician, uh, maybe somebody who today would work on special effects movies. Uh, you know, he did anything he could to get that perfect picture on that canvas. And, you know, it's now apparent that he used uh, more technology than we thought he did. The documentary has been showing at festivals. Teller, best known as a magician, directed the picture. It's a film that raises many intriguing questions. Among them, if Vermeer did use the camera obscura and lenses and mirrors, does that lessen his status as an artist? Uh, I would say there, that that's certainly not Tim's point of view, and it's certainly not my point of view. Tim is taking what was previously regarded as sort of a supernatural event. The supernatural event being there's some guy called Vermeer who can just magically walk up to a canvas and magically paint with light. Uh, and he's saying, what if that guy were a human being? How would a human being go about that? Because a human being can't, physically cannot, go to a canvas and paint and have that level of accuracy. It's just not built into our retinas, it's not built into our brains. Teller has long collaborated in a magic act with Penn Gillette, who narrates the film. Gillette sees parallels between their art as magicians and that of Vermeer's possible use of technology to create his paintings. In magic, all the process is concealed from you and all you see is the finished product. What I love is that the Vermeers are not in any way diminished by knowing that there might have been another way to accomplish them. You know, Andy Warhol said, art is whatever you can get away with. And that's a very profound thing to say. I haven't yet come across anyone who has seen the film who then looked upon a, a Vermeer again and saw it as any less sublime. And certainly Tim Jennison didn't embark uh, on this experiment to, as a reductive measure. Jennison's quest had a remarkable outcome because his amateur painting bore a very close resemblance to Vermeer's original. Well, it's an eerie, eerie feeling. As I got to the finish line and finished the, uh, the rug was the last thing and the hardest thing to do, uh, that just to see a complete modern version of the music lesson, it, it, was, it was a great feeling, a feeling of incredible accomplishment. I sent a small mirror at a 45 degree angle Tim's Vermeer is on the preliminary shortlist for a Best Documentary Feature Oscar nomination. Film critics have labelled it a crowd pleaser. It is a thought-provoking documentary and it does get people to ponder the nature of pure art and whether or not such a thing exists.